why do brands, why do, why do product brands want to associate with that brand so yeah. much? Yeah, sure. Well, look, in many instances, they don't. Uh, they are just terrified of activists. And the answer to that is you just don't listen to the activists. It, in many ways, it's quite frustrating because for years now, we've known from Pew Research that 80% of all tweets are generated by 10% of users. Only a fraction of those are activists. And only 20% of the population are on Twitter. So in real terms, it is genuinely a fraction of the population that are activists. So what we need to do is the same thing we do to a room full of screaming toddler bullies, and that's simply ignore them. Um, but so there's it's sort of uh, there's three elements to this. One, uh, brands align themselves with some brands align themselves with woke because they're scared. Uh, some cynical brands um, see this as an opportunity um, to virtue signal. They don't believe in the nonsense, but they see it as an opportunity to to look good. But then there are marketing teams that that genuinely believe in in the woke agenda and have swallowed it whole. When you think about it, that makes sense. Elite marketing teams are generally based in big liberal cities, um, which themselves are intellectual bubbles. Um, And many people work from home. They live in echo chambers. They live lives online where they have confirmation-biased social media feeds spitting back existing belief systems. Um, and, you know, it, it, when you're sort of living a, a lonely, atomized life like that, why not uh, look for meaning? Why not be on the right side of history? Why not look up, you know, look to try and um, raise up the most marginalized groups? And in the case of trans, which I believe we're going to discuss, you know, we are saturated with with pro-trans um a pro-trans agenda you know we're, we're encouraged to share our link uh, pronoun, pronouns on linkedin um anyone who identifies as a woman is immediately that uh, we're constantly told that trans people are facing genocide and trans kids lives are in danger so if you you live a sort of blinkered existence it's you have you know, every sort of right to think that everyone believes the same as you and you're doing the right thing 